as we move into the top of the fourth inning. one nothing Cougars, Heaven Severio, the third baseman, who's uh, seen a lot of action defensively, starting things off and fouling one back to the screen, 0-1. Oh, we have noticed the graphics about uh, Cuesta TV. This broadcast is 100% student produced in high definition, mind you, with students and volunteers from Cuesta Broadcast Communications. Be sure to start your radio high definition television and film career at Cuesta College, and that also includes our studio production, which includes uh, HD gear. So you get to learn on uh, some of the great new stuff as the pitch missing one and one. Well, if I could only do it over again, Randy, I'd be a star, I'm sure, someplace. Well, you've been a star in Cuesta Sports Monthly. You've been in the studio. <laughs> you know. 1-1 one, one pitch, and it's taken high. 2-1. I believe I'm scheduled for the last show with with Pete sometime late in April. Oh, it's it's not a semester of Cuesta Sports Monthly if there's not a batter's be appearance somewhere in there. Well, I got bumped for, uh, I don't know, must Obama must have been in town. Or Might have been something up. That's about what it would take. <laughs> Two and one now makes it uh, three and one. And again, we mentioned uh, the high definition. And in fact, not only is it high definition, uh, we're, we've been made clear to understand that it is stunning high definition, and that's due to a generous grant from the Schwartz family to Cuesta Broadcasting, Cuesta College, as that is uh, whip foul by Silvera. And again, an appeal for a fair ball that will not be heated. It's going to be uh, a full count now. Cuesta College is the only college on the Central Coast that broadcasts live events in high definition. So again, if you're looking for that high-definition television career, the place to do it is the Cuesta broadcast, uh, Broadcasting Program, or we'd say also specifically you can find it um, in the open course list under uh, Broadcast Communications. Right. From uh, Coach Fox's perspective, that looked like it doubled down the line, but it was a good foot. Just trailed fouls. The full-count pitch is outside, and after battling Heaven Silvera is a leadoff base runner with a walk in the top of the fourth, one nothing Cuesta. And with her aboard, it is the cleanup hitter, first baseman Marty Lewis, who grounded out to second last time around. Now batting number 12, Marty Lewis. This is uh, absolutely what we want to avoid today is no free passes. Uh, try to play error-free ball. Don't give them any base runners. That's been our downfall. And the pitch missing. It is ball one with a runner at first and nobody down. I know in uh, talking with you a bit uh, before the game there, you know, the Cougars have been able to play uh, pretty well, but it's really just uh, been kind of the walks that have uh, gotten away from them that have uh, cost them some games late. Yeah, and, and late inning, too. They play us all up for four or five innings, and then we've lost. I think uh, Coach McGuire said, oh, oh Silvera so got hit. So there's two aboard now. With nobody out as uh, Lewis got hit, uh, Silvera walked on a full count. And now it's the shortstop, Taylor Cartwright, and she walked when she was up last in the second. Yeah, I think uh, Coach McGuire was telling me before the game that they have lost five games in the last inning. And uh, just tons of walks. Uh, now again, we have two free passes there. A hit, hit batsman and a walk to start the inning off. So. Yeah, there's today's starting pitcher, Christina Corsoletti, out of Ione. Run coming, fastball, and runner's bluff. Out from behind the plate, Brewster checks it out, and nobody ultimately goes. It's only one. Okay, a little bit of a rotation on there defensively. The third baseman charges. Uh, shorts on Matsutani, moves over, covers third. Pitch inside, corners charge. It's ball one, count of one and one. Nobody out. Cougars got a run in the bottom of the third on an RBI single by Krim Matsutani, scoring Jasmine Singh, but uh, more park right now with uh, their best threat so far with two on and nobody out. Right, in the middle of their order also. Pulling back and slap right back to the mound. Corsaletti sees that her play is going to be at first base, so she will go ahead and take the batter. Meanwhile, Silvera will advance to third, and Lewis to second, and there's just one out as Cartwright is thrown out one three. That's as good as a sacrifice bunt. Um, might have had a shot at third. I, that ball was hard hit, but uh, she was determined to throw to first base, and uh, she did. Got the out. That's a good start. Brittany Reed sacrificed Cartwright last time up. His left fielder looks, and it's a pitch in the dirt. Stopped by Brewster, one and out. Impressed with Brewster, too. She's doing a good job behind the plate, blocking balls and keeping the ball out in front of her. And uh, 
I don't know if these two, this battery has worked together previously. So we'll see. One zero, and this one is our first kind of fly ball. It's going to go to sing over at second base. We'll look back over, and it's an infield fly anyway. So in that case, Brittany Reed is out for the second out. So we're in second and third. Still nobody across. And Christina Corsoletti with a chance to get out of it here if she can retire Hannah Brown, who singled and stole second back in the second inning. That was a good pitch. Right in on the fist, popped her up, and uh, still have runners at the in scoring position, but we got two outs. Again, a nice stop by Brewster there. Yeah, pitch a little bit low, 1-0. And, oh. and Brewster making an unusual appearance, as Jim mentioned, behind the play today, catching Corsoletti. Two down, 1-0 oh pitch, and a bit high, 2-0. Oh. Cougars with that one run in the third inning, and that has been the scoring. and Corsoletti 3-0. Again, first base is open, but again, the concern, as you mentioned, with the walks has already been a walk and a hit batter in this inning. Well, we're getting deeper in the batting order, too, so a walk would not be a bad thing. Rather do that than groove one. 3-1, and missed in on four pitches. Hannah Brown is over. First bases are now loaded. Of course, now there's also a force at any base, and that brings up the number eight hitter, Joanna Boycourt, the right fielder. She popped back to Corsoletti last time around, and we're going to have a, a quick conference and uh, make sure everybody's uh, set on what they need to do is Coach Sheila McGuire coming on to the mound to talk with the infield, also the catcher, Brewster, and, of course, uh, the pitcher, Corsoletti. Meanwhile, the outfielders having a conversation um, on the outside. And again, want to remind you that this is a student-produced program in shimmering high definition made possible by generous grants from the Cuesta College Foundation. Cuesta College Foundation has been supporting student success at Cuesta College for 40 years. They do a lot of things to support things instructionally and in so many different ways on campus. If you'd like to support more programming like this show that you are watching now, this softball game, be sure to please call the foundation at area code 805, if necessary, 546-3279. That's 805-546-3279 as Boycourt steps in, bases loaded, two down, 1-0 ball game in the top of the fourth. First pitch, a little off speed from Corsoletti, trying to work the inside, but missing for ball one. Nobody in the bullpen, although we don't have that many players, that might be a, a, a luxury. And I do want you to tell me what shimmering high definition is at some point. Well, it's uh, a little different. That it's got a little more reflective power than, say, glistening. This one is hit high into left field, moving back and pulling that in. There's our first fly ball of the game, and Katie Render pulls it in with the bases loaded and two down. So the Cougars and Corsoletti managed to get out of another one. In this case, um, bases loaded, although uh, they all happened uh, without a single hit, so no runs on no hits but three left. After three and a half innings of play, it is still quest of one and or park nothing. We will be right back after this commercial break. This program is produced by Cuesta Broadcasting. Start your radio, TV, and film career at Cuesta College, 